Back now with more possible changes coming to our representation in Washington. First, the districts will be shifting in voters. That came earlier this week. Then yesterday, 2nd District Congressman Scott Bridgel announced he would not seek another term. Now, a name already familiar in the area says he might jump districts. Then your side's Andy Fox has a look at this political shakeup going on. Andy? Well, we say that because several sources confirm he's been making calls. Randy Forbes has letting people know that this might happen. Call it a political switcheroo. And the bottom line is, is that Congressman Randy Forbes' best chance to win, because remember, a politician's number one job is to win. His best chance to win might be to jump districts. And uh, Congressman Forbes is actively considering a bid for Congress in the 2nd District. That from former head of the 2nd District Republican Committee, Gary Byler. He'd have substantial support. One, Congressman Forbes has an excellent reputation as being a solid, principal member of Congress. Look what redrawn lines have done to Forbes' once conservative 4th District. Now whites make up 63% of the district, blacks 33%. Proposed district, whites 51%, blacks up to 43%. Blacks traditionally vote Democratic, and the new district includes large Democratic areas of Richmond, Petersburg, and Charles City County. Under the new lines drawn by the Court of Appeals, the 4th District does not look very favorable to the Republicans. Look at the 2012 presidential election numbers from the new 4th District. President Obama got 61% of the vote, Mitt Romney only 39% of the vote. Congressman Scott Ridgell deciding not to run, likely through Randy Forbes, a political lifeline. It would not be a guarantee for Congressman Forbes, but again, he has a lot of support among uh, rank and file Republicans. We called Forbes' office and got this statement. Numerous calls across the state have come in today regarding Representative Forbes' future plans, and he is actively considering all available options. Another big reason for Randy Forbes to switch to the second is to lose both Rigel and Forbes would be devastating for military cloud in Washington. Seniority. Do, the, do we want to give up all of our seniority? If he moves over, he stays on the Armed Services Committee representing our area with seniority. Now we want to point out that the final lines will be reviewed by the U.S. Supreme Court. But that's the way it is right now. Can Randy Forbes represent the second district, mostly Virginia Beach, even though he lives in Chesapeake in the fourth district? The answer is yes, he can, as long as he is an inhabitant of the state. That's the law. Today, former Republican State Senator Jeff McWaters told me he will not run for Congress this year. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.